Hi, everybody. Let's wait just a few minutes and see if anybody comes in. So... Maybe too late. There's somebody. Hi. Hi, everybody. Sorry, I was getting a drink. Hey, Misha. I know there are other people here, so just wait a second. I guess I can uh, turn around right quick and get this box out. This box. Mm, hold on. Hey, Faye. Hey, Darlene. Hey, Kathleen. Hey, Francis. Welcome, guys. So, I thought I'd show you all a few things that are going to be in the auction tomorrow night. I have a lot of... Oh, I didn't... Who's who's live with the auction tonight? Is somebody live with an auction? Thank you. I got that off the clearance rack at the Wally World. Hey, Deborah. I didn't know somebody was live with an auction. I must not be subscribed to them. So, anyway, so, anyway, tomorrow night is my auction, and uh, I just want to show y'all a few things that I'm going to be putting in the auction. First of all, I have uh, two coach purses that are not ones I've showed y'all already. Hey, Tatiana, how are you? Uh, you know, I, I did a... Uh, Sandy's doing an auction tonight. Okay. So. Uh, I uh, had did that coach haul not too long ago. But uh, uh, these are not purses from that haul. These are some purses that are some different purses. That actually I got from a friend. And, and uh, I'm selling them for her. So anyway. And. Of course that when I sell things for people they give me part of the money so because that's how we like to play so let's see if I can get this in here so somebody asked me about doing some vintage things hi Nancy Reed you like that shirt it's a got a peplum thing it's I won't be able to wear it because it really is a size bigger than what I'm wearing now but I just loved it so much and it was on the clearance so I bought it. So, anyway, but somebody mentioned in uh, um, last week's video where I asked y'all what y'all wanted to see. Well, that was not smart, Cindy. No wonder that didn't want to go down in there, right? Okay. Somebody mentioned doing some vintage things. So, I have a few vintage things, and I'm going to show y'all. We'll start out. So, this here is a vintage rhinestone necklace and earring set. And it's unsigned, but it is old. And it's going to be in the auction tomorrow night. So, let's see. I'm going to put it back in the bag. Let me show y'all this. That's going to be in the auction tomorrow night. I think. I have not made up my mind for sure. It's an evening bag. And it's metal. And it is surrounded all the way around with rhinestones and then here this is rhinestones and uh it's brand new it actually has a package of extra rhinestones in it it's never been carried it's made in china but it is metallic it's silver it's just a little evening bag i love it i think it's going to go in the auction tomorrow night i'm not sure may it it will depend on if i want to uh sit and look at it for a while it's got a a it's gold tone, but it's got a, a yellowy, real yellowy gold to it. So, anyway, so I love it. When I saw this bag, when they first put it out at the little thrift store where I was, I loved it. But they had it marked more than I'll pay for a bag. So, I waited till it went. Yeah, it is different. It's 
uh, I waited until it went on sale. So because I'm just cheap that way. So I tomorrow night I'm gonna have a lot of lots. Tomorrow night the auction will be at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on on my channel right here. So anyway, um, a little teapot and that's really the light is really bright, but it's silver teapot brooch and pendant and it's which it's not vintage how do i know that the necklace is vintage i know that the necklace is vintage first of all the earrings might not be as vintage but i think they're definitely vintage just because of the rhinestones more than anything um but first of all, know that the necklace is vintage because of the catch on it, first of all. But I also know that the necklace is vintage because of the cut of this rhinestone in the middle. That rhinestone in the middle, the cut of it, and also the color of the rhinestones. They just have that vintage color. And that's the only way I can explain it to you. Um, the metal on the back also tells me that it's vintage. Um, newer ones, they're a little bit more shiny. This is a little bit more like pot metal, lead, the, the um, what they call pot metal. But, uh, uh, I don't know. It's just something that comes with hand, handling, uh, a lot of jewelry. So, anyway, yeah, the little teapot is cute. So this is a vent. Mm, I just dropped that. I'll have to get it picked up. This is a vintage brooch, and it's going tomorrow night. It's not real, real vintage, but uh, it is really cute. And it's not signed. I don't think. Can't remember. And I, I can't decide. It. I haven't decided if I'm going to lot these together or sell them individually. But I think I put them down to lot together. And that one is really cool. It is. It is mesh, and y'all know I love me some mesh, and it's got AB stones at the bottom, so that's really cool. So, I'll pick that up later. Uh, I have four pairs, two silver and two uh, gold tone Monet earrings. I have this really large statement piece. Thank you if you're in here, Light Bright, for uh, subscribing. It says uh, Light Bright is a new subscriber, so thank you. That is really large, and it is more than one chain, and it is signed, and I can't remember what it says. Uh, let's see. I don't see there. Let me see what it says. Ooh. Oh, I remember it says Tresca. Tresca or Tresca? Tresca. So, I think I, I may want to look that up. I'm thinking that may be an older company. Not sure. And then this is a bag of stuff that's going to be sold as a lot. And y'all remember some of it. I'm calling it a statement lot. All of these pieces are not signed. But they are definitely statement pieces. I know y'all will probably remember this when I showed you this. This great big huge glass part that has these little grooves in it. Uh, -uh It's not glass. So anyway. Uh, this is a faux turquoise wrapped piece with rhinestones. This one here is another, and most of all this is, um, is all, uh, it's another statement piece is all unsigned and it is also all large <laughs> and it's also, um, modern is the word I was looking for modern. This one here is and it's glass. I can hear the beads clanking together. They're glass. Uh, let's see. 
Let me get it going just right. This uh, faux turquoise with the beads, and, and it's there. There it was, making it droop. So it's real pretty. And then another big heart, metal filigree heart. So that'll all go together. Your kitty cat's watching every move you make. Well, my son's kitty cat has been uh, invading my chair in my room. I have a chair in my room. And uh, so here are some sterling silver pieces that are going in. And this is cool. And it is, it's a money clip and it's a dollar sign and it is signed sterling down here. And I got it uh, at an estate sale not too long ago. This is sterling. It's uh, just a row of stackable little things. And I'll have all these signed and they have all been tested. This one, I think this one is cool. It's just a square ring, just square. Do you have any copper jewelry? <laughs> I have copper jewelry on. See, I have copper earrings and a copper bracelet on. But uh, uh, I do have copper jewelry. I don't think I have it. Oh, and I have a copper ring here on too. But I don't think I have any of it in the in the cell. There, that, no, that was antique bronze. But, and then that, that's real pretty. That's a sterling silver. So you like the blue and the brown. Yeah, it's making my arm green. It's not, I don't think it's uh, real copper. So, anyway, that's three sterling silver rings. I may add a couple more. So, this one here is, I think, is going to be a cool lot. Calling it a bead lot, technically, I guess they are beads, but I should call it a disc lot. So, here's that graduating wooden bead disc. And then here's these graduating uh, plastic bead disc. And then here's these wooden beads with disc. Oops. There's that's wooden beads with disc in between it. And this is wooden beads. And it's got a, a yarn tassel. And then these are wooden beads. This actually could have been called a wooden bead lot. So I have quite a few beads this time but uh um i have a oh this one is beautiful this one is a uh, 10 karat gold filled ring uh it is look at the stone on this look at that stone isn't that beautiful and i'm holding up no it's a round stone isn't that pretty that's a size eight and a half ring that is so gorgeous and I think, if I'm not wrong, that it's a brand new ring. So, um, I'm pretty sure it came out of my stuff that I got on eBay. A pair of Joan Rivers earrings. Uh, a grab bag full of goodies. A pair of Catherine Stein earrings that are brand new. Some non-precious metal rings. This is non-precious metal. It's just silver tone. And, and it's huge and honking big. Looks like a pineapple. This one, it looks like a leaf wraparound. It is a wraparound ring, but it's not adjustable because it's uh, put together there. So, you like grab bags? I have several grab bags. This here is going to be sold as a lot. It is, um, they're all adjustable rings with the stretchy bands, but they are huge statement rings. Look at that. That one there is a kind of greeny gray. This one here is a flower full of sparkle. And this one here is multicolored dome style ring. So that's. A lot that will be sold together. Oh, this here is a pair of 10 karat gold earrings with a lab created sapphires and uh, probably little diamond chips. I didn't test them because they're teeny tiny 
really, really hard to test when it gets that small. So, beads. These, and these are gorgeous colors. Look at this green and pink. There are 32 necklaces and two bracelets, and none of them are broken, and they all fasten. Um, this one here is 2.8 pounds. It's a grab bag, too, and it's full of all kinds of goodies. And this one here is a vintage, vintage red, white, and blue beads. There's red beads, white, blue beads, and then a red, white, and blue. And then this is a tribal piece, tribal looking piece. I don't know that it's actually tribal, but it is a very big statement piece. So, anyway, so that's cool. And that right there is a, a crochet or a braided cord, gold cord. So, and that's all. And it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot there, but I think I counted 20-something pieces. So, 24 or 25 pieces. So, anyway, so, uh, but lots of, uh, lots of uh, cool things. In this one grab bag, there's a stretchy ring that has a little squirrel on it. So, I had a lot of. Just, I, I combined a lot of things this time. And then I will have two purses, four purses, I know for a fact. I will have four purses. And uh, I think I'm going to have a, oh, I want to put those back in there. I'm going to have a glass, um, yeah, a glass, what is it called? Trinket, trinket box. A glass trinket box full of goodies in it that I'll probably will sell. So, anyway, do I ever have coin jewelry? Uh, are you talking about real coins? I mean, I have some. I have some coin bracelets that, but they're not real coins. Hold on, just a second. Let me get that back in there, and I'll, I will show you what I'm talking about. So, and you guys, I just, just so that you know. At any time, you're welcome to email me and ask me if I have any style of jewelry that you're interested in. And I can look back here in my trusty box of all kinds of things and uh, look and see. So, I will look in here and see, Kay, if I have any coin jewelry, any coin bracelets. Yep, there. There is some coin bracelets oh and there's a copper I'm not sure that's real copper yeah it is marked copper there's a copper bracelet so anyway mm. this thing is so full i've got to sell some bracelets maybe i'll that may be something i will include tomorrow is a bracelet lot so oh uh, I knew I had another statement piece that I had counted that I hadn't showed y'all. So, this right here. It's not anything. It's not signed or anything. It had knots in the end, and it just it didn't look right with the knots. But, anyway, so that. But, here's a copper bracelet. Showed y'all that the other day. And this is not real coins. This is bow coins they look like they have uh greek scholars on them is what they look like to me like they're greek scholars so yep i have i have copper real or real not real or not yeah i have uh these that have these greek scholars on them and rings you love rings and bracelets so anyway I love it all, <laughs> guys. I love it all. That's my problem. I love it. You like that? That's cool. So, I'll remember that you like that thing. And, that, yeah, that little bracelet. And it signed something copper inside of it. And I've had a hard time seeing it. And I keep worrying that every time I clean it that I'm going to mess it up. But it is a cuff. It says...
I thought it said tax code copper, but I can't tell exactly what it says. But I do know it says something copper. It always helps, you know, when you read stuff going the right way. That one didn't. I had that one turned upside down. Hmm. I don't know what it says. I can see copper, but I can't see what else it says. So, yeah. It, it's really, you can, it's really in rough shape down there. Will the copper be in the auction? Uh, probably not, Nancy, but if you want to email me, you've got my email address. Email me and I'm sure we can work out something on it. And it won't be, it won't be extravagantly expensive. So it won't even be expensive, <laughs> extravagantly or not. So anyway, so but uh um, so uh, what do y'all think about? Now I'm just asking questions. What do y'all think about things like this in the auctions? Okay, this one here is a lipstick case. You put lipstick in it. It has the little mirror. It's a lipstick case. See, I love little pretty things like this. And this one here is a sewing box. You can see the little scissors and all that. And it's got the little sewing kit, kit in it. So, I mean, the little sewing kit's all in its little thing. And it's just right in there. So, you love things like that too? See, I love little jujaws. I mean, I, I just love them. So, my desk is covered with all kinds of stuff right now that needs put away so anyway but yeah i love love pretties so did you guys go thrifting saturday or yard selling i went to a couple yard sales and i thrifted a little over the weekend i showed y'all some you love little cases like to put nice gifts in so i think let me see if I can find it, what I've done with it. That's not it, is it? No, that's not it. I bought, I'm looking for, I bought a big, is this it? This isn't it. Let's see. Is it here? Where is it? Mm, I can't find it. I don't know where it is. But look at this. If this isn't cute, I think I've showed y'all this. I put a price on it. But look, it looks like a little ukulele kind of thing. It has little strings. You can tighten it up. So... Um, I don't have a lot of luck gluing, uh, super gluing things that metals. But what's cool about this is it's also a music box and it plays. Oh, it don't want to play. It was playing the other day. Anyway, I'll have to work on the music box. There, there. And it plays. Music box plays. So sweet, ain't it? I don't recognize the tune it's playing. But it has no markings on it that I can see anywhere. So it is it is so sweet. And I just love things like this. I put it I picked it up. I'm gonna take it probably over to my booth. So anyway. So, but I'm thinking of filling up this beautiful little lacquered box with some goodies and, and auctioning it off, too. So, it won't hold a lot, but probably I'll fill it up and then include some extras to go with it. So, I have so much. This I was looking at this one, too. I brought in, oh, yeah, I brought in a bunch of stuff from my booth, too. 
So you want me to tell you what else that I like to like to find is I love to find little bags, especially when they say Brighton. <laughs> so I have a I have some Brighton jewelry that I'm saving these for. I've got another one too. So I always do so much. So well I just like to do gift giving and and the uh, just giving of gifts is one of my love languages so that's hard I do what I do so anyway that had a little string on it so oh y'all know my friend always miss Vanessa she always sends me some mesh bags I bought one myself this weekend isn't it cute I have a bunch of black bags, but I didn't have any that had these these kind of handles. I have one that has a gray handle, but I didn't have one that had these um, tur tortoise shell looking handles. So I, I gave $4 for that at a helping hands. So anyway, but and I bought some new. I bought some new little trinket boxes for. The trinket boxes, guys, go in my um, in my uh, uh, mystery boxes. I always put a, a trinket box or a bag. Uh, um, Nancy bought a, a mystery box, and uh, I put a bag in hers, a, a zip bag, a cute little zip bag in it. So anyway, so I always put stuff like that in the in the uh, um, in the mystery boxes so of course that's not a mystery but i have mentioned it before that i do that so anyway so i'm excited about the auction tomorrow night i feel like that i have um uh, i have a lot of things that um will sell i don't know if they'll sell for great prices or not hopefully so me and my husband are taking a trip this right here probably weighs six or seven pounds there are some beautiful beads in here. Even though I don't like beads, there are some gorgeous beads in here. So, anyway, but there are 32 necklaces and two bracelets. And none of them, none of them are broken. And there's some real glass beads. Some real nice glass beads in here. So, some cool things. So, I'll show it all. Pull it all out. You've got to do what? Where are we going? We're going to Branson again. That's where we always go. Branson is our is our destination. We're going next Sunday. It's our anniversary. Next this coming Sunday will be our 33rd anniversary. And uh we're going to go. So I pulled these this week out of my booth because my jewelry doesn't sell real well at my booth. I have two booths here in town. And uh, my jewelry doesn't sell real well. So I've started pulling some of it out and uh, bringing some of it. I think I'm going to put both of these on Posh because they are really modern and really statement-y. That one, that, that one is not even nowhere showing the true color of green it is. Hmm. Knocking things off. Somebody needs to get a maid in here, but I'm afraid if a maid came in, she'd scream and run out because it's bad uh, that's one thing i have chaos in here but it's my chaos and i know exactly what kind of chaos i have <laughs> so do y'all understand that or do y'all think i'm just making excuses now, i know that turns the right way i had it displayed properly at the flea market down there oh i've got it mixed up i see there we go Come on, you silly thing. I wish that... I, I'm trying to see if it'll show the green. It don't even show the green on that. On that. So, the green is amazing. Mm, not even there. So, let's see. But it is an amazing green. Like, I, I can't even... I, I've seen water this color. Like, ocean water this color. But uh, I'm going to put this on Poshmark if I get off my duff and take pictures there. Yay, I got it. Look, is that? Oh, looky there. So, anyway, yeah. 
That's so pretty. I got it off. And then, do not fall. That came out of my booth. I had it in my booth. And then this one came out of my booth. And, yeah, can you see down in there? If you look down in there, you can see, like, colors down inside the stones. Some greens and greens and yellows. So, you co co cover your... Yeah, this room right here, I would just shut the door because this room right here is, like, exploded. So, uh, but that, that's real pretty. That's a, uh, that's a, what I call a Poshmark piece. So anyway, it's real modern real. So, but I'll probably put it on Poshmark for a uh, 9 .99. So anyway, isn't it pretty? It is real pretty. It's gold tone. I don't like gold tone jewelry very well. I love copper tone, but I don't like gold tone jewelry very well. So anyway, so. Yeah, it's real pretty. So, uh, um, but yeah, my, my room is like, okay, I have that big, this big, mm, let's see, lean there. This right here is full of jewelry. This, the gray case is all jewelry, is all things that are listed on eBay and Etsy. And then, and Stuff on this shelf that basically craft supplies and things that go to my flea market. Then over here you can't see because I'm not about to show you. But over here there's a wall that I have a freezer on because this room is right off the kitchen. And I have a big table that has my camera set up. And then I have all my shipping supplies up under it. Up under it. And oh yay. Yay Susan. I'm so proud for you. Uh, I've sold a couple of things on Poshmark, but they've just been shoes. Then I have a tub full of purses, and I have a box full of shoes, and a box full of empty vases that were jewelry jars, and a box full of crafting papers, um, scrapbooking papers, and um, all of the packing stuff. I have lots and lots of packing things, and uh, I have a heater, and then right here I have a dump zone that I come through and just dump and I have a um, here let me show you this not my big backside but this uh, this is all beads all beads and I have a up there on that you can see a uh, a priority envelope that is waiting for somebody that has purchased it and it's going to be shipped to her next uh, this coming week and then I had that big tub of beads and uh, yeah I've got to get those listed on eBay so anyway I have lots and lots and lots of beads lots of beads and I have jewelry just in everything. I mean, everything around me has jewelry. My desk is just covered up. I found a piece of gold. I found a gold necklace this week. Uh, this weekend at a yard sale that I paid $2 for. And it was 14 karat gold. And I found a really pretty Sarah Coventry ring this weekend. You couldn't sell anything on eBay. Uh, that's where I sell most of my things is on eBay. This is a Sarah Coventry ring. I found it. Gold with a whole bunch of different stones. And I have um, a bucket of stuff to go to the flea market. I just have a problem. I am surrounded by goodies. And uh, I come in here. I, I kind of like have a... I have a path in and uh, a path out. So I, I seriously do. And then I have some, I keep little, I have a whole bunch of books and stuff here that I, I keep things. Did I get the earrings that you sent me? No, I haven't gotten anything from you yet, Francis. So 
Does it show that they were delivered? Because I got Margaret sent something that got returned to her, and I, but you should know my, you should know my address. Yes, it does make me happy. So things like this that I keep that thinking. Oh, I'm gonna list it on eBay. I'm gonna list it on eBay. It's an, it's a. Oh, surprise! Thank you. It is a la, a Libyan li, la, li, Libyan ornament that is one of those that they paint up inside it. They paint it from inside. Cool. So. You're a problem child, messier than my room. And I have like I have a bunch of ornaments over here stuck in the corner. I have I love Christmas stuff and I have Christmas stuff out my wazoo. So do I do Facebook live auctions? I have not. I've only done YouTube live auctions, but I'm always open to something new. So I may someday do one. Uh, I do every once in a while list some things on my Facebook page for sale. Hi, Granny Josie. So, um, look at this guy. He's a Department 56 Christmas ornament. It's really cute. And then this little lady is a Avon, no, an Avon, a Hallmark keepsake, keepsake ornament. And she is the queen of chocolate. So isn't she cute too? Anyway, just I just collect stuff like that. <laughs> so anyway, what is a YouTube premiere? How to and what? So anyway, so yeah, I am excited about the auction tomorrow night. I'm always excited about the auctions. Um, I love auctions, and so I still am trying to decide if I want to sell this because it is so unique, and I love it so. But I may have to keep it for a while just so I can look at it. It's so pretty. Y'all went down there every every week while they after she put it out and watched to see when it was going to be half price. <laughs> when is it half price? I nabbed it. I put that thing in my buggy so fast. And the funny thing was I went on the last day of the half price sale. I, I hadn't been down there all week and I went on the last day and I got it. So crazy stuff. So anyhow, so hey guys, if you don't know it, Granny Josie sells jewelry jars and you can buy them in the jar or she'll take them out and uh, take some off the shipping for you. So anyway, oh, I got this. This is what I got this at a yard sale. Um, my neighbor had a yard sale and uh, I got a cameo and it is for moi. Y'all know I collect cameos. So uh it's for me, 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 me. So, anyway, and then this too I got at her yard sale. And it's a little cameo stick pin. So they they're laying here to be delivered to my to my uh, to my thing. So to my to my room. Oh, that turned out really good. I fixed. Part of this, I still have to get some more of it fixed. I've got to put a a thing in the a pin in here, but it is a pendant and a pin. It's a brooch, anyway. But I it was missing rhinestones, so I fixed that. I got the rhinestones replaced, but the metal's in really bad shape. It may have to go in a in a lot for crafting, so because that metal is in pretty bad shape. So. Anyway, so I hope you guys all had a great Sunday. We did have a wonderful Sunday. I had 14 kids in Children's Church today. And I normally have, uh, what's a jewelry jar? Uh, a jewelry jar is a, um, a, a vase that is filled with jewelry. Um, let's see, Granny Josie usually sends hers in. I did have one of them sitting here, but I think I've gotten rid of them all. Granny Josie usually sends hers in plastic vases, but uh, uh, I buy them. Let me show you. I buy them. Um, mm, I 
I buy them at my local savers like this and their jars full of jewelry. So anyway, I mean some places sell them really really expensive and some don't. So um uh, Tina, do you sell on one of the live auction groups or do you sell on your own channel? That's been something I've been like thinking about doing some Facebook live auctions. So, so anyway, but I've not had real good with my pop-up. Somebody was asking about vintage. These are vintage, but I can't hardly bring myself to part with this white enamel stuff. I have some white enamel pieces. I just love it. Isn't that pretty? The little flowers. And they have little rhinestones in them. And that is white enamel. It's not plastic. It's metal enamel. And they're clip-ons. They're vintage. Live auction groups. So, yeah. I'm a member of several groups. And, uh, but I have not, um, I've not tried doing any auctions yet. I've not even bid on any auctions. My fruit friend, Jude, she, she's got me into several groups that, I mean, at, invited me to join them and, and she sends me messages when they're doing stuff she thinks I like. So, um, but I've not tried bidding on any, is anybody she sent something to me not something to you but something to me but she may have had my old address because i've been friends with margaret for several years so she may have had my old address before i moved here so jude um jude jude direct is what let's see jude what is jude's last name bascom bascom b-a-s-c-o-m bascom so ask them see you tomorrow too deborah so anyway so does anybody have a child in the service do you have a child in the service anybody have a child in the service jude bascom anybody have a a child in the service in the armed forces there we go Anybody, anybody, I'm looking for somebody to answer me that has maybe has a, a kid in the armed services. Yes, Kathleen, you do. You have a child in the armed services. Okay. Just waiting. If you will email me, let me type in my email address. Uh, no, I didn't. I'm sorry. This one right here. I got an extra. If you will email, email me that, I want to send you this bracelet. It's got three keys that spell out mom. And then it's got a key here, and it's got little faux dog tags, and it's um, got a U.S. flag, and then it says, um, one of them says, my soldier, my hero, and it's a little charm bracelet. So if you will email me, I want to send that to you. So I'm going to write your name on it. So Kathleen Merton, Kathleen Merton. Anyway, it's not anything precious but it, i thought it was really too sweet just to go in a in a junk jar so anyway it but it's really really not really sweet and it's not anything so anyhow so but if you will email me your mailing address i will be happy to send that to you so I'll, I'll mail it out after I'm mailing out all my auction stuff tomorrow, after tomorrow night. So, anyway, so I've got your name wrote on it, Kathleen Martin. So, anyhow, so, y'all know I like to give things away. 
Have, have any of you ever bought anything from me that when you got it, you didn't get something extra? Mm. I did, I don't even my even my eBay sales. When I sell something to my eBay on my eBay sales, they always get something extra too. So I just like to give. I like to give things away. I like to. Uh, it's one of my love languages. I always send something extra. No. So always stuff. Y'all remember when I showed y'all that the other day and, and the roses were broke. One of the roses were misses. Some of the roses were missing. Let's see if it wants to lay right yet. It, it wants to flop on me. Here we go. There we go. It lays like that. Anyway, when I got to the bottom of the box, the roses were in it. So they got put back in it. And while it's only a Claire's necklace, I think it's really pretty. I really like it. So, But I don't wear gold toned. Hardly ever do I wear gold toned jewelry. So it'll probably go in a box. Or it may turn up in somebody's goodies. Goodie bag. So those little. Yeah, I love that red too. And these little bags. I buy them by the thousands. So you put a necklace in with the top you sold on on eBay or on Posh. So I do. I love silver tone. Silver tone and copper jewelry are about the only that I wear now. I do have some gold tone pieces that are really special to me, like my little uh, crusty bear, my little uh, rhinestone crusted bear that Darlene sent me. I love it, so I will wear it. But silver tone and most of my jewelry now. My wedding rings are gold. And uh, um, this now this is not one of my original wedding rings. It's just a ring that I got not too long ago that I love so much that I started wearing it. But um, my wedding rings are gold. But most of my even my uh, ring rings that I wear are are silver. So are silver toned. And that one's not real silver. But anywho, I just love me some silver toned stuff. So anyhow, not eBay posh, yeah. So he says he thought you ordered one necklace. So tell your husband that you have a friend in Arkansas who likes to send extras. So anyway, so anyhow, I have been known, I have been known to even send an extra pirate sword. So your silver apply. I do not own anything platinum. So anyway, but uh, uh but uh, yeah, I had a bunch of kids this morning in children's church. Y'all know I'm. I'm a children's pastor, so do children's church, and I had a bunch of kids. One of my one of my little girls had a birthday yesterday, and she had a whole bunch of people that stayed the night with her. She had a sleepover, so I had 14 kids uh, this morning, and uh, normally I have eight to ten, so I had 14. So, and then we had a dinner at church. It, we every every month we have a birthday fellowship, so it was birthday fellowship today, and so. Um, and then tonight we met and uh, put together our candy bags uh, because we're having a not really like a harvest festival. We're going to pass out candy. Our church sits at the edge of a really nice neighborhood. And so people park in our church lot to go trick or treating in the neighborhood. And so we're going to build a big bonfire and roast hot dogs and Hey, hey, Casey, we're going to roast hot dogs and give away candy bags. So anyway, so we got met tonight and filled up candy bags. So anywho, that's what we done. That was what my day was like today. So, so I had a good day. So anyway, yeah, when I went on, on while ago. Hey, Adam, how are you? Adam, have you done your, have you done your, opened your bag yet? Because I've been like, really wondering how did that bag serve did it was it okay after i mailed it like it was so yeah my my dad Faye, my dad was a pastor so uh, uh i always swore i would never marry a preacher and then when we got married david was a pastor too so anyway so but uh, um and then i've been children's pastor at this church for a year and I've worked with kids for years, but anyway, but I'm uh, waiting to see what Adam tells me about his bag. I'm waiting. 
Did you ever open it, Adam? <gasps> okay, you open it tomorrow because I, I want to make sure that it's okay. So, so I bought another Dooney and Burke this weekend. And uh, when I looked at it, I was convinced that it was a, a, an, a real one. But then when I got to looking at it, it doesn't have the little made in the USA tag that is supposed to be on the inside of them. And um, which the one that you have, Adam, does have that. But uh, um, so I've done a lot of research and there were some that were real early bags that don't have it. But I can't find any this color. So I think it may not be real, but it's a really nice leather bag. So. I like it. I'll carry it for a while and then probably do away with it. So anyway, so I won't resell it. So if it's not real, I won't resell it. So, but uh, uh, I may carry it for a little bit, but probably not too long. I've changed purses um, three times or four times this week alone. So anyway, but uh, yeah, I have a purse thing too. So. You going to bed? No. Oh, you just waving at me? Okay. Well, um, I'm doing a video talking yeah. to my friends. Talking to my friends. Yeah, I have to tell y'all a story. I've chatted online with uh, people for years. Hey, San Juana. So, um, it started out, I started out, I had a, uh, he has his, he has his shirt off. So, y'all can't take all that sexiness. Nope. So y'all can't handle that. So okay. Well, a uh, um. You can barely handle it. Dave says I can barely handle it. So go away, Dave. <laughs> so anyway, uh, uh, yeah, I read a lot about that, and the uh, main thing is um is the fob and the little leather thing, but it also has a made in the USA tag that is sewn in and you can see it. So, so, so some Dooney and Burke were made in China could be real. Well, this one don't have any kind of inside tag and there's some things on the inside of it that makes me think that it's not real. So, but uh, I know that the one that I sold Adam was real. So, yeah, I know it was real. I'm trying to think about where I got it from now. I can't remember where I got it. So anyway, but anyhow, so I've chatted for years with my friends online and all that. And my mother-in-law used to talk about me talking to the people in the box. She, I really think that she thought I had imaginary friends. I mean, like serious. I thought she had imaginary friends. Yeah, the outlet ones have different serial numbers and all that. So, uh, um, anyway, so when my son died, uh, a lot of my friends in the box sent gifts. They sent financial gifts to help us bury my son. And she was ama amazed. She said, they are real people. It's like, yes, they are real people. So anyway, I was like, did you think they weren't real that I was just making them up? Because anyway, so I'm always teasing my son that he talks to people in his Xbox and I talk to people in my computer box. So anyway, but, but anyhow, but yeah. So anyway, but yeah, I was, um, we are real. Y'all are very real. I, uh, uh, when uh, when I showed my coach outlet, you know my coach, my thread up rejects that I bought for, that were coach bags, I was really worried about that one that uh, didn't have the creed inside of it. But then when I done just a uh, video, and um, uh, <laughs> y'all may just have to be crazy. Uh, then when I done the video where Thelma came on and several other people that know a lot about purses, they showed me how to walk through it and find where the tag was. And, and, uh, I was able to find the tag with the serial number and all that. So I'm convinced it was real, but you know what? My thing that just like jewelry. Okay. Uh, just like she asked me a while ago, how do I know that the rhinestones are, are old on that necklace? When you handle enough of the of 
jewelry you start learning and it's just like when banks teach their people how to recognize counterfeit money they don't use counterfeit money to teach them they use real money to teach them how to recognize recognize counterfeit money and that's the same thing with purses and stuff when you see enough real thing Yeah, she passed in her sleep and helped with her. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that that they helped raise enough money to pay what what the guy had said is his GoFundMe up. I did see that. So, so Miss Francis. Oh, in the South, if you don't call people Mister and Miss, that's like kind of disrespectful. So. Anyway, so, but anyway, so, uh, um, when you start handling enough and when I pulled that bag out, even though I couldn't find the creed, my first thoughts was this is real because it is made so well. It is made the, the emblem on it wasn't just tacked on. It was really, 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 it is made very, very well. So, yeah, uh, we use it a lot here in the South, Mr. and Miss. My kids used to have my kids. In fact, my son is 25 years old. And when he refers to um, uh, the pastor's wife at the church where he attends, and when he calls her by her first name, I'm telling, I'm always like, that's Miss Cheryl to you <laughs> or Sister Cheryl or Pastor Cheryl, but not, not just Cheryl. <laughs> I don't care. You're 25 years old and she's in her 50s. No, you you show her proper respect. So anyway, he just rolls his eyes at me. He's a millennial. So anyway, but he, then he does call her Miss Gerald when I get on him. So so anyway, but that's just something I, you know what? But I've traveled all over. We have lived all over the United States. We've lived from Vermont Massachusetts, New York, Michigan, uh, Ohio. No, no, do we live in Ohio? No, we, yeah, we lived in Ohio. Ohio, West Virginia, Mississippi, Arkansas, of course, we're from Arkansas. Um, trying to think of any other northern states. We've lived all of those. Did Angela Irene come in? There's Angela Irene. See, I think Angela Irene should be from the South, too, because that's another thing in my part of the South. Uh, no, my husband was not in the military. Well, he was in the military, but uh, he was we worked in nuclear. He worked in nuclear plants. He did nuclear plant outages. So well, that's why we traveled so much, uh, which before our kids were born, we done that. And so anyway, so. Uh, um. He was a, a decon, decontamination technician, and uh, he was a supervisor, and so we would go and stay, and usually we'd be there three to six months. So we stayed for nearly a year in Ohio, right outside of Columbus. They were doing a decontamination of a private laboratory there on the University of Ohio at Columbus uh, campus, so... Anyway, but uh, uh, but in the in my part of the South, they call them uh, we call middle names. My family call me Cindy Gale. I am Cindy Gale. So, uh, if they say my name and they call me Cindy Gale, I know it's somebody that is kin to me. So, they just recently shut down the Salem, New Jersey plant. Uh, we never went to New Jersey. He worked at Indian Point right outside of uh, New York City uh, there on the Hudson River uh, at Peekskill. He worked at Indian Point. Then he worked at one that was um, uh, on the three rivers there at uh, real close to Pittsburgh. Uh, and we lived in West Virginia, Virginia there. Your real name is Josephine. So it just became Joe. So, just Joe, you feel bad when you call Granny Joe, just Joe. Um, we, uh, um, my husband, I've never been to San Antonio. He was in San Antonio. He was in the Air Force, so, but uh, um, he went there, but he, he didn't stay in the Air Force very long. So, um, that was B.C. before Cindy. So, that's how we refer to Dave's life. It's, 
everything was BC before Cindy and before Christ. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, anyhow, but uh, uh, yeah, so but Mary Faye, yeah. Okay, is Robbie a nickname, Faye? You thought it was Josie? You thought it was Josie? My San Juana, my Aunt Sandra, we call her Aunt San. So, and Faye, I thought is maybe Robbie is just a nickname because of your last name. So, anyway, because I think on your Facebook profile it says Faye Robbie Robertson or something like that, or maybe it's your email. So, anyhow, so. So last week was a, a rough week on keto. I like derailed big time. My mom, she didn't do it to derail me, but she just gave me a bunch of peaches and plums. And plums and peaches are my favorite fruit. And if I could just eat just one, no, that's your husband. If I could eat just one plum, that would be fine, but I can't. I usually like to eat them two or three at a time. So. Robbie Faye Robertson. Okay. Anyway, so y'all share an ID. Is that what y'all do? Y'all share an ID. So anyway, but uh, uh, so I gained five pounds last week. But over the weekend, started on Friday. I was last week. I'd gained that five pounds. Over the week, I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I can't do this. So I were like really hit it strict keto, and so I was back down five pounds this morning. So yay. I don't like that when I gain five pounds. So, and let's see, Thursday, uh, Thursday, no, Friday, because somebody sent me, oh, it was Francis sent me a message and told me that Sandy was having an auction and I felt so stinking bad. I just, I couldn't even muster up the, the going to go. And so, uh, my blood pressure was crazy. Yeah, if you're, yeah, that's us. If my mom called me Cindy Gale Slinker, I knew I was in bad trouble. So, anyway, but, uh, uh, but yeah, you really like my blouse. I got it on the clearance rack at, at Walmart. So, anyway, it's, it's a little big, but I'll wear it. I'll probably all winter unless I just start, it starts falling off of me. Do you, yes, I do take BP medicines, but here's the deal. I, you know, Monday I told y'all I had to go to the doctor because my blood pressure was stroke level high real bad. And uh, they put me on the medicines. And so I started the medicines. And by Wednesday, my blood pressure was coming down really good. But I was then I was also taking an antibiotic because y'all know I had that real bad toothache. And I had an infection from that. So I was taking an antibiotic for that. And that uh, drove my blood pressure back up. So on Friday, my I took a... Uh, antibiotic and my blood pressure was bad on Friday so I didn't take any more of my antibiotics so which my tooth don't hurt no more so but uh but this morning my blood pressure before before I got out of the bed I, I uh, uh, measured it and it was 127 over 62 so it was really good really really good so anyway but uh, uh i will stay on my medicines because uh <coughs> i've learned my lesson i need them <coughs> i'm sorry excuse me guys i need a drink of water but on friday i just couldn't get it i could not get my bottom number under a hundred uh i finally got my top number down under 200 but i couldn't get my bottom number under 103 but then saturday it was fine so but but friday i felt bad and I, I think also a lot of it has to do with the weather's been crazy here and so i have had some weather pressure headaches too so anyway you have a headache that that's one thing i've learned about blood pressure you have an ache or a pain somewhere else it'll drive your blood pressure up so anyway so but uh you have blood pressure problems too. Yeah, well, you know what? When I went to the doctor on Monday and it was, and I told you all this, it was 200 over 125. 
when they checked it and they gave me a pill immediately, a clonidine to bring it down. I didn't feel bad. I absolutely did not feel bad. And uh, I didn't have a headache. I didn't have blurred vision. I didn't have trouble breathing. I didn't have any of the symptoms, no chest pain, no nothing. I did not feel bad. Any of the symptoms she was looking for because in, in, uh, um, she said, I can't believe you don't feel bad. So you've had three strokes. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, but, um, she's like, you've got to get it down. So that made me sit there an hour and a half until it came down. So, uh, uh, but I take pretty, I take a pretty good dosage of, of blood pressure medicine. I have a, and that's a congenital, 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 yeah, congenital with a heart race. And up until I got older, I never noticed it. But now that I'm older, I, I notice it. And so it makes my heart race and it'll beat real fast. But. Anyway, you had one stroke last year, so, so um, yeah, what is for? But she mentioned that where she was initial. Oh, I've got stay so, and I don't, you know. My camera or my ISP is freaking out. So, uh oh, am I buffering? See it down. Let's see where I am. No, it don't show anything. Is it still doing it? Y'all, is it still doing it? So you have enough room to move around? Yes. Oh. Well, I'm going to say good night then. So I hate for y'all to have to see a crazy video thing. So, and uh, call my son and ask him to make sure that he's bringing home the, the booster. So, anyway, so I will see y'all tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to say bye. Bye, y'all.